What up boys, it's Gaz and welcome to the Warframe video! So today we're talking about a very interesting situation that has come up in the patch notes on PC and that's actually a mod getting a description change to reflect the way it's actually been for quite a while, allegedly, according to DE. And as you can see on the screen right now, a combination of a, a mods can actually make you immune to some types of damage as these guys are learning the hard way right here. So, before we get into it, make sure you are subbed to this channel if you want to keep up to date on all the stuff happening in Warframe, because we are, we're usually on top of it right away, basically. Not on everything, but you know, that's how it is when you're a full-time employee. Alright, and we also got the live stream channel and all that kind of stuff. So, alright, what mod changed, and you know, let's just, let's put these guys out of their misery real quick. You know, they, they, they tried really hard, they were doing that for a good couple of minutes right there. So let's just take care of these butchers, one hit and they're dead. Alright, so the mod that actually changed is called Shock Absorbers. And yes, no one was using this mod before at all, and I, no one will probably be using this mod after this change anyway. But it is hilarious in a very niche situation right here. So what it currently does, and allegedly according to DE, we'll go over the patch notes, according to DE this is how it always was, or like something like that, but I have my doubts that's actually how it was. Um, so it is going to give you 20% physical damage resistance and I believe that's gonna be your impact puncture and slash those butchers that are hitting us right there I'm guessing they deal all slash damage because you're taking zero damage from that when we stack up shock absorbers and adaptation um, so as you can see this is how the mod previously said right here it said before 20% damage resistance on knockdown no wonder no one in the entire game was using that mod the way it was before. Now it has been changed to physical damage reduction uh, and it's not, it used to be an Exilus mod apparently, it's not an Exilus mod anymore. So you have to actually put it in a mod slot. And this is just a test build to show how it's working. So adaptation, when your damage, 10% resistance to that damage type for 20% or for 20 seconds and stacks up 90%. Keep in mind, a lot of the enemies in this game, when you when you get shot by adaptation, it's like, let's just, let's summon a heavy gunner for example. A heavy gunner, it does mostly impact damage but it actually has a, it's like one of our weapons. If you look at a weapon like, let's say, the Gorgon. So let's look at uh, the Gorgon for us. The Gorgon's going to deal three types of damage, but the most of the damage will be impact. So here's a Gorgon right here. 17 impact damage, 3.5 puncture, and 2.3 slash. That's going to be the same situation for the enemies too, guys. So if, if you get shot by a Gorgon and you have this modern adaptation stacked up, it will only resist the most dominant type of adaptation. That's why you cannot, it's not like complete damage immunity against the physical damage uh, enemies. So let's just show it right here, show some, some of the gunner. Um, it is still good against some stuff, but I think it's too niche to actually be good overall. So let's just have her stack up here. So I, this is just a test build, so it's not like fully maxed out. Here we go. Now that we are at, see as you can see, we just took a slash proc from her. So um, it's not exactly immunity, but it is pretty cool that we can actually uh, do. So get back to full health here, let her keep shooting us. And as you can see, like we are taking not a lot of damage while, while just face tanking a level like one 100 uh, gunner, but you know, you if you were actively playing, you definitely would not be wanting to stand there and take it. So that's how it basically is. It looks really funny against Butchers as they're dealing all slash damage. Um, but let's go over the patch notes of what they actually changed, um, just so we can all be on the same page here. And this is currently, I think this is only out on PC currently. It's not. It's not like this on console yet. So let's see if we can just not die here. I believe you can build up adaptation while you're in your operator form. So that we're at 90. Now we will take no damage. Or hopefully we take no damage. There we go. Yeah, keep in mind as well. Um, shields have innate damage reduction on them. I believe it's 50% damage reduction on shields. So maybe that's why we're taking health damage there. Um, and the shields are not taking damage. So let's go over the uh, patch notes real quick on what has changed. So this is from the, um, which hotfix is this? It's the Chroma Prime Zephyr Prime uh, Unvaulting Hotfix, 30.0.8. And the, the thing we're looking at changing right here is going to be updated Shock Absorber. So uh, I'm going to mute the game just because they're attacking me still. All right, so let's go over exactly what changed here. Updated the Shock Absorber mod description to reflect its actual function, plus 20% physical damage resistance at max rank. We've also changed its categorization uh, from an Exilus mod into a normal mod. Contrary to its previous description of 20% damage resistance on knockdown, it did not require a knockdown to give resistance. This has seemed to be the case since its release, and due to its relatively low discussion rate, it is completely 
it was a complete oversight that was not working as a scribe. When deciding whether to match a description text or existing one, we decide that to, unlike mods like Diamond Skin and Flame Repellent, which provide damage type resistance, Shock Absorbers, which covered all physical damage types, was considered an Exilus. So we have removed its Exilus classification as it better fits in other damage type resistance mods. Upon login, you will have your Shock Absorber thing, blah, blah, blah. It will be taken off if it was in the Exilus slot. Basically, they're like, hey, no one's using Shock Absorbers. Let's just... Let's just, and it was bugged the whole time. Let's just make it actually what it is actually doing. Um, maybe people will actually like it. I'm going to go ahead and say I don't think it's worth it at all. But I think it's actually a cool uh, decision that they decide not to nerf it and just keep it the way it actually is. Because, you know, like I was just showing right there, you know, there's probably some situations where you're going to be, like, completely immune to physical damage types uh, in, in mission. So there's not anything that's, like, slash resistance. Um... I guess there's like these those slash resistance arcanes, but I believe that's only for the status effect, not the actual damage. So maybe you can make something work with this uh, and then the shock absorbers and adaptation combined together on your shields. Maybe on like Hildren or something or something with pillage. So it is definitely interesting. Um, I don't really care that it's not in the Exilus slot. Like honestly, like no one is using this mod, period. What they probably should do, and like I, I like where this is going, I do. This should be a wake up call to DE with a bunch of these terrible trash mods. Then, like, make them interesting. Hey, look, I'm actually thinking about shock absorbers. Something that literally never, ever happened. I have never, ever thought... This mod just, like, I delete, basically. Like, I'll, I'll transmute it for other mods. Imagine if they made Warm Coat, where it's like, well, you have ice resistance and you have built-in health region, because you're a comfy, a comfy tenno in your coat. Like, things like that. Like, make mods that are never used interesting. Uh, wall, wall dashing grants... Increased bullet jump speed. Oh, uh, that's a mod that was made like two years ago. <laughs> like, th we've talked about this in previous videos. They have so many mods in this game, and probably like 5% of them are actually used. Gale Kick? Melee damage converted to impact damage on jump kick, knocking down nearby enemies on kill. Make that ma make this mod have the enemies explode and percent health damage when they die to a jump kick. That sounds really terrible still, but at least it would be cool and worth thinking about. Unlike, unlike a, lot of, a lot of these, honestly. Rifle scavenger, increased rifle ammo pickup. Make that where it's going to give... Maybe, yeah, so like just like rifle amp, make it where rifle scavenger also gives you a damage increase. Or maybe make it give it a fire rate increase to your rifles. Because no one's going to be using rifle... You only are going to use this if you only have that option. Or maybe you have like a negative ammo ribbon or something like that. There are so many, like, I could honestly go on all day long on just random ideas on how to buff these not used mods at all. So, um, there's lots of them. Like, Retribution, what's this one do? This one sounds like it'd be kind of cool. Um, let's see. I don't even have it maxed out. That's how, that, that these kinds of mods should be getting buffs. The, the mods no one ever thinks about. Then you have a Shock Absorber situation where it's like, oh, nice. Maybe I can actually be, be immune to damage in this very small situation. This very niche thing I'm not going to actually use. Well, at least that's considered. So, Retribution. Uh, chance to deal electrical damage when hit by a melee attacker. Plus electricity. Make it where this mod is going to make it so your weapons are doing electric damage innately or something like that. It's a power fantasy game uh, where lots of things, like basically nearly anything is possible with builds. Let's let's pump one up some even more. Because that's what, that's what keeps people around in this game is build customization and like finding out fun new things. If you make it like a whole update where it's buffing terrible mods, or like reworking terrible mods like that, and think of how interesting that would be for people that are interested in building, like the veteran players. That could be something that could save, not maybe not save the game, but bring people back. Like, dude, did you hear they buff like a hundred mods, and like there's all these new build possibilities opened up? That's a lot of work, don't get me wrong. That's a lot of coding, a lot of work. But those are the kind of updates that can make a game feel entirely different than it was a couple weeks ago. So... That's basically how it goes uh, with this conversation, guys. Uh, shock Absorbers, it is nichely useful now. Uh, I would never really consider this worth a mod slot. Um, I, no, just no. Um, but, you know, like I said, it could be very nichely situationally useful on shields with their innate damage reduction. Maybe something like Hildren. The thing about Hildren, though, is usually if you're using like Aegis or like Barry or something like that, you're going to be basically immortal anyway. Um, so it's not going to really matter. But, you know, maybe if you want... Because, like, the thing is, Hildur doesn't even need many stats on her builds. Like, 
this is just a max shield build right here. You can maybe throw shock absorbers on there um, to, you know, just have some damage against impact puncture and slash. Which, keep in mind, like, enemies like bombards, they, they are going to deal blast damage and just, the mods going to do nothing against them, to be honest. So, yeah, guys, I'll talk to you next time. Hopefully you found this video interesting and helpful. Um, yeah, I, I'm glad. I, this is a step in the right direction, even though it was probably an accident in the first place. The, the uh, thought process behind it is what actually matters to me, where it was like, well, we could just make it, we could bug fist it to be trash like it's supposed to be, or we could actually make it the way that it's actually currently working. It is somewhat interesting. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Take it easy and peace.